Hi there everyone, how are you doing? In this video I want to do four examples of fluid balance calculations. And rather than worry about the theory, let's just dive straight in. A patient's volume input over a 24 hour period is 1600 millilitres and their total volume output is 1500 millilitres. Calculate their overall fluid balance. Now the fluid balance formula is very easy. It is simply input minus output. And I suspect you can see what the answer is. 1600 millilitres, take away 1500 millilitres, is 100 millilitres. So that will be our answer. But I just want to formalise it for us and make sure that my subtraction is in the right direction. So I like to fill out a little table. So here for our input, I'm just going to write down 1600 millilitres and my output is 1500 millilitres and if I wanted to calculate this by hand I would simply do 1600 take away 1500 well, 0 minus 0 is 0 0 minus 0 is 0 6 minus 5 is 1, and 1 minus 1 is not. In other words, my answer would be 100 millilitres. However, you'll notice in this table that I've drawn out, it says net balance plus or minus. So in fact, that is a plus. Sometimes people will just put a plus like that, or they'll pl make it plus VE. But either way, my final answer is positive 100 millilitres. Now I know I'm labouring the point but let's check that with the calculator. Turn it on and clear the memory. 1600 take away 1500 is indeed and it's positive 100 millilitres. Okay I know that was a very easy one but I just wanted to start us off nice and easy. For my second question, it looks almost the same, but this time I've switched the numbers around for a reason which you'll see in a moment. Now my fluid balance formula, input minus output. And now I've got my little table ready. So now my input is 1500 millilitres. My output is 1600 millilitres and I hope you can see that my answer is going to be minus 100 millilitres. And we'll either write it like that with just a minus sign or a lot of people like to put minus V standing for negative. Now here's the key thing. This one we could do in our head but I want to show you a pitfall that can occur if we try and work it out by hand and we try and do it in a standard way. Common sense would tell us that the calculation we are doing is 1500 take away 1600. So this looks like a reasonable start. I'm using the well-known column method of subtraction. But we'll have a problem. See what happens. 0 take away 0 is 0. 0 take away 0 is 0. 5 take away 6. Well that doesn't go so I have to borrow from there and 5 becomes 15. 15 take away 6 is 9 we can see we have a problem already and 0 take away 1 is minus 1. We can see that simply is not the right answer. In other words the column method for subtraction will not give the correct answer for negatives. What you have to do is understand from that table alone 1500 take away 1600 that our answer will be negative so we put the negative in place, but then what we do is to work out the value of that negative balance. Using our column method, we must put the larger number first. And we know from our previous example that 1600 take away 1500 is 100. But we've already preloaded that minus sign in there. So our answer would be negative 100 millilitres. 
It's a very subtle point this, this idea that when you have a negative value in your fluid balance calculation, you have to put in the sign first and then put the larger number on top. Of course, when I check this with the calculator, I don't need to concern myself about any of these subtleties. Let me show you. Clear the decks. We know our formula is input minus output. We know our input is 1500, so I just put it in as normal, take away the output, which is 1600, and you see the calculator does give the answer straight away as negative 100. That negative sign, see how it's a, quite a long way from the action, but you should spot it. The calculator does not offer any problems. It is merely by hand that we really have to concentrate and think about the sign prior to doing the calculation. OK, let's do a couple more which are a little bit more realistic. Question 3. Patient's volume input over a 24 hour period is 2150 millilitres and their total volume output is 1925 millilitres. There's my formula for fluid balance, input minus output. There's my table that I just want to put the values in. So my input is 2150 millilitres. My output is 1 nine two five millilitres and I hope you're starting to see the value of this table so straight away I can anticipate that my sign will be positive so I'm going to put that in input minus output will be a positive value and now to work out the value of that larger number on top 2150 take away 1925 slightly trickier question Zero take away five doesn't go, so we have to borrow from that five there to leave four, and the one I borrowed becomes there. So ten take away five is five, four take away two is two, one take away nine doesn't go, so I borrow from the two to leave one, and the one I borrowed makes that one there become eleven. Eleven take nine is two, and the one take one is zero or I've just decided to leave it as blank. So my final answer is positive 225 millilitres. Let me write that out nice and neatly. Final answer equals positive 225 millilitres. You'll notice that in a fluid balance question there are three components to the answer. There's the sign, there's the value, and they're the units and it's important when recording these in an examination or on a drugs chart that you must have all three components in there. Let's now check all this with the calculator. Clear the memory. My input was 2150. I'm just reading it off my table. Take away output 1925 and the answer is indeed 225 millilitres. That confirms the answer. One final question. The patient's volume input over a 24 hour period is 2050 millilitres and their total volume output is 2225 millilitres. Calculate their overall fluid balance. So there is my fluid balance formula. Let me fill in some of the values in my table. Input is 2050 mils. 2050 millilitres. Output 2225 two, millilitres. What sign should I have in that net balance? Absolutely right, a negative. So it's going to be negative, and to find the value of that negative, remember when calculating by hand, you always put the bigger number first. So I've got to do 2225, two, two, take away 2050. Oh, this is the opposite way around to how I would do it with the calculator, but this is the only way using the column method that will give me the correct answer by hand. 5 take away 0 is 5. 2 take away 5 doesn't go, so I must borrow from that 2 to leave 1. 12 take 5 is 7. 1 take 0 is 1, and 2 take 2 is 0, so I'll just leave that as 1, 7, 5. So my final answer is negative 1, 7, 5 millilitres. I'm writing that out neatly, equals, remember those three items, the sign, 
the value, the units, negative 175 millilitres. One last check with the calculator, clear the memory, input, looking at my table is 2050 millilitres, takeaway output 2225 millilitres and sure enough the answer was negative, negative 175 millilitres. I hope that's given you some confidence in doing these calculations. It really is a simple, straightforward subtraction, but you have to keep an eye on the sign if doing it by hand and have the larger number on top for the subtraction. But when you use a calculator, so long as you have the numbers the right way around, you'll be fine. And I think the use of a table can really help make sure that you have the values in the right order. Thanks for watching.